After having a successful maiden flight during the day of our night Timber X, we're back here at almost dark uh, to have a really good time with the lights showing off really well. At least hopefully you guys can see that. The camera never does lights justice. Oh, they can see it. Okay. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Well, I am very excited to put this in the air. I don't think there's much need to talk. We talked enough in the last video that we did. I'll talk more while this is in the air. I'm excited. Let's fly. Okay, let's do a takeoff. No flaps this time. Safe is on. Nice and smooth. Now remember guys, this airplane can fly nice and docile, kind of like a trainer if you wanted to fly like that. And I have safe on right now. So you can see that it just flies like a nice traditional, kind of a slow flying airplane because I have safe on, throttles low, even though we're flying on 4S. We put a 3S battery in here, we could fly even slower. And we're just gonna cruise around and get a feel for how this looks at night. It really is looking good, Abby. I was honestly a little bit worried when we were out in the day and I just couldn't see the lights very well. Now they're showing up so well, it's not even dark yet, so I can still see to land and everything. Okay, I'm gonna kick safe off. Let's go up and just have a little bit of fun with this. I got about a, what, a six or seven minute flight on my 4S 2200 milliamp battery. Uh, the first one and I'm expecting to probably push about six minutes on this one And if it's not raining too bad because it is raining right now, I'll put in another battery There was zero throttle on that vertical climb. I just want to get a little bit of a hover and very sloppy very very sloppy <laughs> I think I want to put in my heavy rear horizontal wing uh, Tube it's hard. It's hard to talk and fly. It's hard to talk and fly <laughs> Orientation is nice with the nav lights on. The green and red nav lights are making a big difference for orientation for me. When you put that wing up like that, it's nice to know which way it's facing. Yeah, okay, let's do a snap roll. You ready? We're gonna do a nice high speed snap roll. I like that. That was that was fun. This is this will climb forever. It does inverted loops really well, flies inverted really well. And we're bringing it back down. There's a nice tight outside loop down there toward the end of our airfield. Look at that bright headlight, Abby. It's so Ooh. cool. I know the Timber X has that too, but I don't think I'd fly the regular Timber X in the complete dark. I suppose you could though, but this one just makes a huge difference. I like that snap roll. Let's see if we can pull up out of that. <laughs> the 4S punch power makes a nice big difference. This is just a fun airplane. You're gonna have so much fun flying the Timber X while I'm on the night Timber X and the late evening together. I'm really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love it. Let's see how we do here. You ready? Gonna, gonna get a nice low hover. Get a little bit braver, a little bit braver. I know I've got a powerful battery to pull me out of this. Oh, okay, time to go. <laughs> Is this one gonna end up the same as your other Listen, Timber? Listen, the Timber X, I just, I'm waiting on a prop to come. No big deal. I broke a prop, but that's all. Did you almost say daddy, daddy broke a prop? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. So a lot of times while I'm at home, I do talk third person. I don't think so. I don't think I did. But I wouldn't I really be surprised. Said, like you almost said that. I keep my airspeed okay, up. Okay, shut up. While I'm at home, uh, I refer to myself in third person sometimes, for Amelia's sake, as dad or daddy. That's what you're so supposed to do. Maybe, yeah, maybe. So let's kick it up on the side. We'll get into the knife edge here the best way I know how. And That's not a knife edge. Oh, it was, but it was in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Guys, this plane is so much fun. I'm no competitive flyer or anything. I never will be. But I do love the hobby. Ooh, the wind picked up a little bit. It sure did, didn't it? I'm sure this can handle it, no problem though. Everything is just very snappy on this. You can make it so much more docile. When you kick safe on, which I just hit the switch, you can just really tame it down to fly much more like a traditional airplane. But you can still get brave, you know, fly low to the ground. Go nice and low and slow. Just don't forget to keep some airspeed up. When the wind hits it at a certain angle, that's when you get a tip stall. And if you watched our maiden video, I just about tip stalled on our last landing approach. Look, you can see the lights on the runway right there. Isn't that cool? It's making the ground glow. <laughs> and we're gonna go safe off and snap it up. Down. 
into a snap roll, tight little snap roll. You go up, inverted, nah, decided to just do a loop. <laughs> <laughs> I love this hobby. It's, Abby, when's the last time you and I have come out to do a super late flight like this? It's been a while. And you want to talk about devoted to the hobby and the success of the hobby and everything. It is raining right now. Abby and I are getting pelted with rain. Uh, not too worried about the airplane. I'll wipe it off when we get back home, but it's it's most all the electronics are enclosed Our camera gear on the other hand <laughs> we have to worry about. Yeah, then, I need a new camera anyways. Amelia, she's out here supporting the hobby too. She's taking a nap right now and uh, You know any any parents out there know what it's like when your kids supposed to go to bed at 9 uh, But they're <laughs> sleeping at 730 <laughs> And then they're gonna get woken up to bring long in, night. into the house. Yeah Dedication. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the rain's picking up, the wind is picking up. Let's go one more pass out. It's worth it though, because this looks so good. Totally worth it. We're gonna do another battery, right? You good with that? Sure. Yeah. The, if the camera it. battery, this is my only battery. Okay, left. well, if it dies, we'll wrap it up at the house. Here, we'll do a nice just so we're gonna land it quickly here. Right on us. I'll put another pack in. We got a quick flight done and hope the camera battery doesn't die. All right, camera gear is covered in rain, but we're yes. good. Yes. <laughs> Ready for takeoff? Um, I think I'm in focus. <laughs> the rain <laughs> is kind of messing with me. This is such a sweet airplane. Just a nice smooth takeoff. I could have like shot it in the air like a rocket, but yeah. I'm just, I'm enjoying the well-roundedness of this airplane. It has safe. Now, one thing you'll notice, Abby, when you do end up flying this and you have safe turned on, it's a slow flyer and in order to get through those banks you need to give it a little bit more speed because you'll see like some twitchiness kick in with the wind it'll probably scare you to see the airplane twitch some in the wind don't worry just power through it just give it a little more throttle and get through it i'm cruising at about a third of the throttle right now and sometimes i book it up to about half throttle this is on a 4s pack remember this airplane can fly on 3s or 4s we're going to safe off and hover here so even with safe off, we still have AS3X. Now I, I saw what I thought was a person in the corner of my eye, but it was that flag. Scared me. Ah! And that's why the airplane fell out of the hover. <laughs> I'll just go safe on and come back around. I thought a person was walking up to us. <laughs> okay. Well, that is such a bright light. That is wow. amazing. I love it. I feel like it's lighting up the whole airfield. Man. The camera remember. is not doing, I mean, the, the lights look really good on camera, but I still feel like it doesn't do it justice. Yeah. See if I can get a hover. Oops. Sorry. That's okay. Here we go. There we go. You're getting better. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. As I say it. that. No safe involved there, but I saved it. You're getting better, Russian <laughs> bird. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Can't believe I almost crashed it. Kind of, sort of, almost crashed it. I like the black stripes on the bottom with the lights. It looks really cool. It's good for orientation, right? And the red on the top of the wing. Because so the white lights kind of make the red sticker glow, huh? Yes. Do you like the red or the green Timberex? Because this one's red. The night version's red. I don't know if you noticed. I but mean, the, either one, I yeah. guess. I don't know. I mean, the decals are pretty much the same, aren't they? Yeah, just a different color scheme. Yeah. Got green and yeah. red. I mean, obviously I like the lights. I'm going to remember this flight for a long time, you guys, because it's pretty rare for Abby and I to get out here so dark. Uh, just have an 18 month old kiddo in the middle of the nasty virus. And why, ah, these guys, it's like nine o'clock PM. How are they still working? <laughs> Can't even see. That loud beep you heard was some construction workers. What a really fun airplane. It flies so well. Just top of my list top of my favorites list of something to throw in the car in one piece if you want to and this one does it has two nylon screws holding the wing on if you're unfamiliar with the original timber x so when i get nervous from a hover my favorite thing to do is just to throttle out of it you got throttle you're going to probably survive i think we're getting close to our flight time Still getting rained on, Abby. It's not as bad though. That was a little bit of rudder input. So this is an airplane that I could continue to advance my skill set on. You'll notice I have about the same handful of maneuvers that I throw at the airplane. 
um, I need to learn some more. And this is a plane that I can use to learn more maneuvers. It flies so well in such a tight space if you want it to because of its slow flying. I mean, I could, I could fly this. I would be willing to bet I could probably fly it in our front yard. It might not end well. I'm not going to do it but I think I probably could. It definitely could fly in a baseball field, soccer field, something like that. Some airplanes, like our jets, do require a bigger airspace to fly. This, though, it's, it's golden, just even a small space. I don't have a lot of flight time on night airplanes, so this is like, this is crazy for me. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Can you hover it right in front of us? I'll try. Don't crash it. It's not no, my fault if you crash, crash it. But I'll I'll get as close as I can. I'm gonna I'll probably tell you right now. It's no, I'd say I can't. <laughs> I mean, like you can go up, but I just meant like pretty close to us. Oh baby. <laughs> you said oh baby. <laughs> oh, oh okay, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, oh man. All right, I like when it. you ask me to try to do a maneuver. I get really scared anytime I ask you to do something and regret it. Because if I crash, it. then it's all whose fault? Yours. I'm coming around. I turned safe. <laughs> I got a weird gust of wind out there. I was vertical. And so I kicked safe on to just help me bring it back around. So you're at five minutes. <clears throat> okay. Well, you know what? Let's do a safe off landing. I don't know if I have done that. I probably have. I just haven't said anything. I just turned safe off. We'll just... Do a couple nice slow maneuvers out here, bring it in for a nice landing with safe off. And the lights just look so good. I want to stay even later now, Abby. I wish we brought more batteries. Mm -hmm. Got to get that kiddo in bed though, don't we? Yes. Safe is off and okay, not Beautiful. a bad landing. Yeah, look at that. That is a very good looking airplane. Well, there you have the <laughs> Night Timber X. That was a reference, a small reference. Anybody? the office and I wrote it down for you okay so that was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun it's been a long time since I've flown anything at night and this thing was just a breeze to fly I need more stick time on this airplane to make it look good but I still had a blast I had a really good time flying it I love that they came out with the night version of the Timber X it's so awesome just remember it's not just the lights that are in here it's an upgraded ESC and receiver so the increase in price is justified for that too just bear that in mind you get all kinds of telemetry on your radio as long as you're flying with spectrum but this is an amazing amazing airplane you can turn the lights off just by unplugging a little JST plug up in the canopy and uh, fly like a normal Timber X if you want to you don't have to always have the lights on if you're looking to get that extra 20 seconds of flight out of your battery or so this will be linked in the description box below in all of its glory. We'll also link the regular Timber X. You guys can compare the two if you like. The nice thing is most of the parts are interchangeable. Just a couple electronics that are different and all the lights. This has been so much fun. I just want to thank God for the opportunity to get out, get in front of the camera and fly this plane with you guys and for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed your time while you were here. I also want to thank our Patreon supporters because you guys are literally keeping the lights on. Thank you very much. We could not do what we do without you from a dollar and all the way up to our top tier. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Guys, we did a maiden flight of this just a day or two ago. I'd like you to check that out if you missed it. If you're new to the channel and you somehow let that video go by, swing by, learn a little bit more about that airplane. That video is going to be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.